Hello Grade 9 Learners! Welcome to this video. In mathematics, there are different types and forms of equations. In this video, I will introduce to you a type of equation that you can make use in solving real-life problems. And that is called a quadratic equation. Let's start with the definition. A quadratic equation in one variable is a mathematical sentence of degree 2 that can be written in standard form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0 where a, b, and c are real numbers and a is not equal to 0. Observe that in the definition, a quadratic equation is any equation of degree 2. Or second degree. What does it mean when we say degree 2? Remember, the degree of a term can be identified by the exponent of the variable involved. Let us consider our standard form here. ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. Observe that the variable involved is x. One variable x. That's why it is called a quadratic equation in one variable. Our first term here is ax squared. The exponent of x here is 2. That is why the degree of this term is 2, or it's in the second degree. And if the degree of the term is 2, the term is called quadratic term. That is why ax squared in the standard form is what we call the quadratic term. The second term, positive bx, the variable x here, has no exponent. Remember, if there is no exponent in the variable, automatically the exponent is 1. So therefore, since the exponent of x here is 1, the degree of this term, bx, is 1. And if the degree of the term is 1, that term is called linear term. And observe the last term, c. You will observe there is no variable x here. So if there is no variable x, the term is called constant. Because a constant term is a term that doesn't have a variable. And the degree of the term, or a constant term, is 0. As you will observe, the highest degrees or the highest degree among our terms here in our standard form is 2. And that's the reason it is called a quadratic equation. Now, observe that in the definition, A, B, and C are real numbers. What does it mean, real numbers? They could be whole numbers. They could be integers or negative integers. They could be fractions or decimals. But remember, in our definition, A must not be equal to 0. What will happen if A becomes 0? Remember, A here is the coefficient of the quadratic term. So, if A becomes 0, the quadratic term will be eliminated. So, if the quadratic term will be eliminated, the resulting equation is no longer a quadratic equation. So it will become a linear equation. How about if b is 0? The linear term will be eliminated, but still it is a quadratic equation because there is still a quadratic term. How about if c is 0? If c is 0, C, or the constant term, will be eliminated. But still, the resulting equation is a quadratic equation because there is still a quadratic term. In other words, the values of B and C can be zero, provided that A is not equal to zero. Now, let us consider the following examples here written in the standard form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. Let us identify the values of a, b, and c. Let's take number 1. 
of 2x squared plus 5x minus 3 equals 0. Can you identify the quadratic term, the linear term, and the constant term? Our quadratic term here is 2x squared. That's our ax squared. So therefore, the value of a here is that's the coefficient of our quadratic term. How about the linear term? Our linear term here is positive bx. Therefore, the value of b is positive 5 or 5. And the constant term c here is negative 3. In the second example, x squared minus x plus 6 equals 0. The quadratic term is x squared. As you will observe, we don't have numerical coefficient here. So if there is no numerical coefficient, automatically, the numerical coefficient is 1. So here, our value of a is 1. And our b here is negative 1 because there is no coefficient here. So it's understood negative 1. And our constant here, c, is positive 6 or 6. Let's consider number 3. Negative 4x squared plus 8x equals 0. Our quadratic term here is negative 4x squared. That's our ax squared. So the value of a here is negative 4. And our linear term here is positive 8x. So our value of b is positive 8 or 8. Observe that in number 3, there is no constant c. So we don't have the constant term. If there is no constant term, automatically, the value of c is 0. Let us consider number 4. 3x squared minus 10 is equal to 0. Our quadratic term here is 3x squared. So, our value of a is 3. Observe that in this equation, we don't have the linear term, the x. So, there is no linear term, automatically, the value of b is 0. And our constant term here, c, is negative 10. This examples 3 and 4 are often called incomplete quadratic equations because, as you will observe, in number 3, c is 0. There is no constant term. In number 4, b is 0. There is no linear term. But still, they are considered quadratic equations.